shot. God, I hope I made a good shot. Nice land boy. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, guys, it is, I guess you could say it's like the bottom of the eighth. I only have one more day to hunt. It's January 4th. Tomorrow would be my last day, and it's supposed to be pretty crappy weather tomorrow. Um, we got really close last night, really close. We had two shooter bucks come out, like 80 down here, but they, uh, where they came out, they jumped this fence. We didn't expect them to come from there and then there's a hill right there and by the time that we could shoot they were already um, on the other side of that hill so we never got shot at them so tonight we're gonna set up basically to try to shoot right there it's a little bit warmer than it was yesterday and a little bit windier so I'm hoping that that doesn't affect the deer movement too much and keep them a little later it's probably 35 degrees or so and 15 mile hour wind because um, if it does it's gonna it's gonna hurt us so Hopefully not. Hopefully we kind of have finally got a little bit of an idea what they're doing. The biggest factor is this wind. I'm going to have to step out here and see. It's kind of southwest, but it's supposed to turn a little more west at dark. Not at dark, but like last hour. And that's going to be, uh, that's really detrimental for us uh, as far as the setup. Because with the timber where I think they're coming from in the CRP, I have to basically pick one side of this trail and if it stays south it will kill us um, where if I go on the other side and then it stays and it doesn't switch west it will also kill us so or I mean excuse me if we're sitting some with the south wind and it doesn't turn um, and it turns west that's gonna kill us and then if we go to the other side and we sit with a south wind and it doesn't turn west that will kill us so we got to get out here and make a decision on that but we found that really awesome shed yesterday and if we see that deer with his other half he's getting shot because that's easy super glue we'll fix that real quick show you where i think they're coming out okay and it's like it's going to be one of those deals where it's like most likely depending on how the setup looks if he jumps the fence you know boom i think i'd be just be ready to shoot pretty quick okay it's fine with me yeah just gotta make sure <laughs> i'm ready to run yeah. the camera quick well, that's what i'm saying i'll show you where they're jumping okay the other reason i want to sit over here is because now we can walk this side for that hitler <laughs> there you go that's the real reason we're going this way yeah Keep them amped up a bit 
against the wind and it's a touch warmer but otherwise I think that if the deer do move tonight I think we got a really good chance I'm pretty excited about this scent so we'll see we'll see what happens Hoorah, this is the last day I can hunt. So, we got myself, Nick is filming me, and Nick and I are gonna go back to where Eli and I sat last night, which uh, was not very productive as far as the bucks. And then Eli is gonna go self-film, and he's gonna film, he's gonna sit over where um, we sat several nights ago uh, in the first video where you guys saw that Eli saw all the deer. He's going back to that same spot. So I feel like between the two, one of us has a decent chance. It is cold. It's like 10 degrees with a real feel of like negative 15 or something because of the wind. So we waited a long time to get out of here. So it's like almost four, but we had stuff to do and it was just a good excuse so we don't have to totally freeze our butts off. So here we go. This is it. We're hoping it's gonna pan out here. You ready, dudes? I don't know.
was the last chance I got to film my late muzzy tag. I couldn't decide where to sit tonight. Fortunately, Eli had enough of his work done. I've got a deer coming out that I brought Nick with me, and Eli's over there, so. Let's hope a big buck is following soon. You see that deer, Nick? Okay. Just be careful, she's nervous.
are you on him still? Those dough's clear. Ready. <laughs> oh, Warren shot. Look at all those deer going. Warren shot. Yes. Yes. I, I was hoping he would shoot one. <laughs> Did you hear it? I heard it in the back, yeah. Oh, I hope I made a good shot. Dude, that was so intense. I can't believe we just got a shot, bro. <laughs> Frick, man, I hope it was a good shot. Freaking cold, and I'm sitting. <laughs> I'm sitting here filming all these deer right over the hill from him. Next thing I know, I hear a pop, and then all those deer is like a bunch of freaking ants going because it's just they're so far away, but there's so many of them. And I'm pretty sure he just smoked one. So I just shot that buck. Felt good. We're gonna run up here and see if we can find some blood, and hopefully he's. I hopefully we don't even have to look for blood. He's laying right there. Um, but I don't want to get too dark, so we're going to get up here and see if we can find some blood at least. This is not Antarctica, folks. It just feels like it. Was he up a little further? There's a deer. There's a deer right here. There's a deer right there. I think he was up a little farther. Oh, dude. Dude. Yes! Oh my god! Yes! We got a freaking buck. Let's go. He's right there. See him? I can't right now. Yes. Holy crap. I can't freaking believe it. Yeah, baby. Good job, dude. Let's go. Let's go see this thing. Yes. Oh, frick. There's Eli. Oh no, I just got that way. What the frick? There's a ton of dude on. I don't even have enough light for him. Oh, dude. Yep. Yes! Dude, that's a pretty good deer. Oh! Yes, sir! Freaking straight heart shot. Could have hit him much more in the heart than that. That's a good buck, dude. Look at that! 
He's not giant. He's a good buck though. Yeah, he is. My first gun or first gun deer. First deer I've ever killed with a firearm. And that was fun. I gotta admit, that was a lot of fun. That was pretty intense because of the whole situation. And I am stoked. What a cool buck. I love how he's got some character here. Really pretty, nice eight point. He's got a nice little curve on that right there. Yeah, he's got some character for sure. guys we already did one quick recovery for you but we wanted to make sure that you could see it um i'd like to get him cleaned up a little bit more but it's freezing so fast that we literally can't so we finally broke the curse on this place and so i put eli over on he was over on this side of the farm where the deer actually went and died and we were up there in that corner and uh so you said you didn't see a deer, though? Not where I was sitting. I saw all the deer over here. So he, now he makes me feel bad because I, I feel like I gar hold him. No. But, uh, Even in my interview, I said, I was like, I really hope Warren kills one because nobody's killed a deer here, and it's going to be your first gun deer. Yeah. So I'm glad it was you and not me. Well, I wanted you to kill one. I just wanted someone to kill one. Like, this place, yeah. I just wanted someone to kill one. And so Eli was uh, is sitting over here, and he's filming these freaking deer, so we're gonna have to look and see if, because you think you have him in the video I think too. I do, before he comes over the hill to you guys. <laughs> Did he go sure. back there first towards the fence? He came over, I know, but there was so many deer. There, I, there's like 20 deer over here. Yeah. And, and well, so that's like hard. we showed you guys when Nick and I topped that hill. There was just a pile of them over there. Um. So, anyways, this buck came out, gave me a perfect opportunity at about 150 yards and I made it count that's the exit right there crushed him I think it went right through his heart so for me I told you guys over there like the muzzleloader thing is new because like I'm not I'm used to it's it's crazy you would think like going from bow hunting to gun hunting would be um I don't want to say easier but maybe not so much uh it would just seem like yeah, you wouldn't really, it'd be like, oh, there can't be that many differences that would be challenging, right. but there is on the minor stuff. Like, I'm used to being able to see, okay, my arrow hit here or there, or I'm not sure or whatever, but, or if it, if I do know where it hits, like, I know, okay, you know, probably liver, guts, double lung, whatever, and I know it's as simple as we give him this time or we go and get him right now or whatever, mm -hmm. where I'm not used to the whole, like, you shoot him thing and then just... The smoke. Yeah, like <laughs> okay, it's a toss up. I mean, I felt good about it, and sure enough, Nick and I walked up on the hill, and then he was laying right. I, I thought he was because there was a whole bunch of does right here, mm -hmm. which they didn't even freaking run. When we no. came over the hill, they're all right here. I'm like, what the heck? They ran back, and then for some reason, all of them came back too. I don't know what they were doing. Well, I'm. St I was starting to think like we worked way too hard. We should have just walked up here and shot one of them. Uh, but, anyways. They were doing that look, you know, where you could see that they were looking at something. I was like, okay, I'm pretty sure he's laying there. And then, sure enough, he was laying down here. So, pretty awesome end of the season. I shot one buck earlier that you guys saw. Pretty sure he's alive. Hopefully, we can confirm that soon with a shed or something. Um, I, I have one picture that could possibly be him, but I just can't tell for sure. So, uh, but I'm pretty freaking jacked to put my tag on this deer. Cool buck really cool i like how he you kind of have to look at him from behind he's got a weird uh right there. yeah it's like i don't even almost look like flames and then did you see this i really hope that wasn't going to be a drop tie next year <laughs> that's pretty cool it's so cold guys the blood has already 
like it's froze like I can't even get it off so with that being said we are going to get him cleaned up get home warmed up and take care of him so thank you guys for watching if you like this video leave us a comment subscribe all that stuff really helps us let us know what else you want to see um, we appreciate all the great feedback on the first video so we're pretty stoked to bring you some more maybe Eli will quit being lazy and go and kill one himself and we can show you guys that too <laughs> I'm gonna try it this weekend. he's being too grateful he's letting me shoot him well you should have a good chance it's supposed to be good weather it's supposed to be like uh, I think like 20 and clear not picky anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be now. Uh, I'm stoked about that exit. Yeah. That is weird. Yeah, that's got to be like a, a goiter or something. Yeah, see, it feels kind of soft. No kidding. It says it's only 12. I call bull crap yeah, on that. We'll pull up the real feel on my phone. Let's see. Let's see. How the heck is he freaking texting out there without gloves? Gosh, you guys are like freaking yetis. I am a yeti. I'm much. an island boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm an boy. Iceland boy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some icicles and stick them on my head. <laughs> I'm an Iceland boy. I'm an Iceland boy. I shot a buck. <laughs> And he's going in the truck. I'm pretty sure my wrapping is way better than theirs. I would second that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to have a little fun here and do a challenge. <clears throat> How fast can we gut a deer? I'm really incentivized because real feel, it's negative seven. Actual temperature, it's hard to see, but is 11 right now. So it's a 11 degrees feels like negative seven. And I'm telling you right now, it feels like all of negative seven. Yeah, it does. So, that being said, I am gonna try and gut this thing as fast as I possibly can. So, yeah, here, you ready? I'll give you my, it doesn't start till my blade hits the, yeah. And then for all you people on oh here that are gonna talk crap, oh, you got it on your phone? Okay. We'll film him starting it, and then for everybody that wants to say that they can gut one in a minute and 34 seconds and this and that, prove it. Video it. You video it, and you put it on your YouTube channel or whatever, and I'll even go watch it, and I'll even give you a like or whatever you want, but you got to video it. You can't just talk smack and not back it up. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Yeah. What's your predictions? What's your guys' bets glass. on me? I say you can do it under five for sure. I, I think you can do that. 345? 345. I'm saying... I can feel my hands now, at least. I'm saying... 337. 337? 337. All right, one last field of heat. All right, let's get it. All right, ready? Yep. All right, I'm good. Okay. Here we go. All right. I'm betting 337 on myself. All right, hold on, I gotta get- You got the stopwatch? Here. I got Nick? the stopwatch, we're on. All right, okay. We ready? Yep. And go. <sighs> he is booking. He's Son. Pretty good. This is how you gut a deer when it's freaking freezing, literally out. That steam is just rolling. I don't even care if I hit the stink patch this time. <laughs> <laughs> World record, baby. He means business. What we got for time? 43. Killing is my business, ladies. Dang, he might. He's, he might pull through this faster than talk. Don't cut yourself, though. I'm not. I'm basically a ninja of the one blade. minute. Oh man, why can't 
Why wouldn't I have bet on myself better? <laughs> Dang, no. son. There's the lung. <laughs> Dude. Oops. I bet that feels really nice and warm. It is not cold. <laughs> it doesn't smell nice. Yeah, it smells like crap. So they know we're not lying. Yep. Woo! What? Can you drag them up just a little bit? No. Okay. Fine. I, oh, I'm, I'm trying to I hold think, the what camera. Was that time? When you were done, it was at a minute forty-five. Okay. Here. Just gotta get the butt. This is just making sure I'm extra thorough. <laughs> I should have did a lap. And that thing is pumping out steam. Completely done. All right. Let's see it. So, we didn't get the lap set, but as he was done pulling the guts out, it was at 145. Woo! But officially, after doing the thorough cleaning of the deer's intestines butt, yeah, and everything, yeah, getting everything out, he was at 220.87. Oh <laughs> <Right>. boy! <laughs> get some! Get some! Now go beat me! I want you to beat me because I'm on your guys' team. But prove it! Don't see in the comments, there's nothing. 62 <laughs> seconds over here. Well, for one, you moron, that's a minute and two seconds. <laughs> or be all like, oh, I could do that in 32 seconds. Or you did this wrong, you did that wrong. Video yours, post it on your channel or whatever else, or send it to us and I'll post it. And I'll give you a like and I'll tell you, good freaking job. Come give me a lesson. But until you do that, I don't care what you say. So, like, All right, let's it. even show this. Yeah. Has anybody got light? Because yeah, people are going to say, oh, you didn't show yeah. the intestines so and everything, everything out. There's everything. And like we said, it was Look a up. minute 45 Ooh. getting the guts onto the ground. 227 cavity. Which there's some blood to drain, but I don't know if that really counts. No. Where's guts are out. You there's said no, gut. There's no uh, organs in there, right? No. And that is gutted. It's hard to see, yeah. but there ain't nothing in there. That's cold. Dude, Ooh, somebody's see... stealing your truck out here. <laughs> I want to see the heart, man. I want to see the shot. Ugh. Freaking macho, man. Good lord. You're such a beast. <laughs> yeah. I bet that's frozen to you. It's probably it's freaking so cold. Where's the heart It's gotta be right This is gonna be a whole video. What the heck is that? Just pieces of meat? <laughs> there it was. Right there. Oh, there's his the heart. Oh, there it this is. This is pretty graphic. You freaking center <laughs> Oh, Is that Holy crap? That's, that's it. Shock, that's gotta man. be yeah. it. Yep, that's you center oh. punched it. Holy smoke! Yep, straight ain't no way you survived right there, that. baby. Straight through the ventricles. <laughs> what? The ventricle? That's the side of the heart. I'm not that smart. His girlfriend's a Texan. Physiology <laughs> <laughs> in college, I passed it. Good job, Nick. Oh, this, like this top is top two percent of my class. I took physiology so I could go film shooting deer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You crushed it. oh it's time to go sit by the fire. Yeah. Time to go drink, drink some hot cocoa. cocoa. Yes, sir. Jinx. All right. Dang. <laughs>